game on here. This is weird. Peace. I know Facebook don't be sending out notifications. They be tripping on these notifications. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me know if y'all can hear me though. Because I know my phone has a mind of its own. Okay, sis. Whew. It's a little cold out here. Okay, thank you for letting me know. What's goody, bro? What's good? We're live over here tonight. Live on channel Facebook. <laughs> I was gonna come in down there, but I said I might well go ahead because I'm already ready. So I might, might as well go ahead and start. <clears throat> you know? Switch it up, switch it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got to sometimes. I got to go back and forth between, you know, the two. Peace to everybody coming in. Peace, peace, peace. Hope y'all Wednesday is going lovely. Just lovely. <laughs> been having a great day today. It's, it's been a good day motivated and determination and gaining you know just gaining mm. but I definitely wanted to talk to y'all um, um, you know I feel like you know at this time right you know it, it might be a discussion we might need to kind of readdress um, but I don't know if a lot of y'all, that's good, bro. I'm glad you had a good day because it's, it's been, it's actually been, the weather was good down here. It wasn't too cold. Um, it was sunny out, especially from the last two days of rain. So, <laughs> it was, it was a pretty day today. And I got out of the house, so it was much needed. But yeah. feel like a, a lot of people might be a little bit disturbed <laughs> about um, my post earlier. Not just no comment or nothing like that, but earlier when I posted it, I felt that energy of, it was a strong pull and it was like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> what is she talking about? That doesn't make any sense. That shit is crazy. You know, those kind of, I felt that type of energy of rejection um, from what I posted earlier. We had a tornado here last night, hurricanes. Yeah, we did too. We, we had hurricanes too. Thunderstorm. <sighs> but one of the thunderstorms hit real hard. Made me jump out my damn skin. Yeah. That shit made me jump. Damn near jumped out of bed. So I'm just glad it was sunny today. The storm was crazy. It was crazy. But the storm brought in some shit too. Okay? But like I was saying, you know, I, I felt the energy of... Uh, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> with my post about uh, Sandra Bland. And I want to start off with her for just a little bit. It ain't going to be major. I'm not going to get into what my post about, but I mean, I am going to get a bit into what my post is about, but I'm not going to get into the details of, you know, what happened or nothing like that. But it all ties into what I was going to talk about anyway today. Um, the control, alt, delete. All right. With dealing with yourself um, mentally and physically, 
um, you know, dealing with energy. So I was I wanted to talk about that first just for a second. But I latched on to realize that Sandra Sandra Bland's case according to what I gained and put on my post was a major eye of deception. It was a major eye of deception. Um, and I know a lot of people probably not going to believe what I'm saying. I really, hey, it's up to you what you want to believe. Um, everybody's going to have their perspective, but I just want you to kind of question your perspective just a little bit. See this perspective just for a second, because when I seen it, I was like, this shit is crazy. You know, hell, I was, you know, appalled, you know, for what was just laid on me, okay? But, um, yeah, it was a major eye of, de eye of deception. And the reason being is because the way it happened, and in that time, we was already on some energy where the police, you know, the police brutality was becoming more and more of a thing. So people were acting out more based off their emotions. Now, people are not going to want to hear this because people are so quick to point the finger, you know, versus looking at self, you know, especially when it comes to controlling your own um, perception, okay, your own thoughts, your own, you know, your own mind. You know, looking at shit, you know, from different angles and not just taking what the media is putting out. So Sandra Bland's case was very, was really one of those major eye of deceptions cases. Okay. Um, of course, the police brutality laid heavy because of the time and the era of what was going on and, you know, with police brutality. No, you know, for what I gained, you know, tonight it was, she, they, nobody killed her. That was a, a, a self-sacrifice. Um, Sandra Bland had some real live issues going on. And it, it, that shit plays out today. You know, people be really having some real shit going on. But, you know, sometimes with the eye of deception, especially on this internet, you can portray anything. You know, you can portray the people that you ain't got nothing going on with you. You know, you're in the right state of mind and all of that. But there is also proof in a pudding when you're trying to put up this whole persona. Okay? She was in the era where we was calling kings and queens, you know, calling each other kings and queens, you know, standing up for each other, the black power. You know, we all went through that era. Okay? It's, you know, if she was here today, I'm pretty sure she'll be on a whole different way than what she was then. Okay? Because we all transitioned from that point. But just with her mindset, okay, she wanted unity. I say, what was that? <laughs> she wanted unity, you know, but <clears throat> she was also going to stand up for her people. So it was a lot of, you know, conflicting, you know, stories going on with that part. But at the end of the day, her mindset, okay, was in fear. Okay? Her mindset was in fear. So that day when she got pulled over, she acted after the emotions of fear. Okay? Like a lot of people do still, you know, when they get pulled over by the police, they want to be so, you know, uh, aggressive, you know, try to be like, you know, not even trying, but, you know, dictating the whole law, you know, knowing their laws and all of this and stuff like that. When it doesn't even have to get to that point, you know what I'm saying? That people just learn to just kind of, you know... Just abide by, you know, certain situations and don't make it worse than what it is. You know, just try to get out of the situation. It's so my mindset today is not to even handle things on aggression. Okay, Sandra Bland, mine was. Okay, we all was back then. We was on the whole block, black power, ready to take cop. You know, you know everything. You know, because of the cop slands, but. Where I'm at now, I look at the mind of the person. Peace, peace, sis. I look at the mind of the person. And the mind is going to tell you everything. Okay? Especially if you look through, you know, look at, look at through their eyes. You know? 
you know, just looking through their eyes. Yeah, it was very hard for us to control our energy back then, you know. So I could understand why she reacted the way she did, you know what I'm saying. So when it got to the transition of her death, of course, this is where, you know, this is where conflict takes place, chaos, you know. The stories come out, you know. Nobody's not even looking at the fact that the, the family was the one that put out the narrative, okay, of what happened to Sandra, Sandra Bland, okay, and social media, as always, and still to this day, take just that and run with it and create more narratives connected to it, looking at videos and stuff like that, just creating your own perspective. Okay, we all gonna have our own opinion and perspective, but it became a lot more effective. Okay, so you know, a lot of people really thought, you know, I was one of them that you know the cops took her out, but connecting to her spirit tonight, the energy and hearing, you know, I I did it to myself. You know, it opened up my eye a lot wider than. You know, what I was perceived, you know, I, I was questioning it, but the energy wouldn't ease up on it. It was so, you know, so thick and determined to make sure, you know, I heard what I was hearing loud and loud and clear. OK, those who know me know how I read energy and how I get down. So but the ones who don't know. Just stick around a little bit. OK, <laughs> but. You know, so just to hear that, it kind of like shook me, but energy was definitely determined to let, you know, let me know that she, you know, unalived herself. Nobody did it. Her mind, you know, full of demises, you know, Sandra saying she was depressed, okay? Sandra trying to take herself out several times. The mind, all right. She showed me her mind and showed me that's how you know it was easy for her to to make that decision. Nobody did it, all right. But like I say, social media takes shit and they run with it. And the masses, we're all on social media, so we're gonna cling to shit. You know, especially when it has something to do with somebody of your culture, you know. You want to feel like you're a part of something, you you know, you're a part of something or you, you're trying to help in a situation, in a way. But in reality, we was creating illusions that was actually keeping us in a fucked up ass mindset, you know. But yeah. So that eye of deception, you know, even in today, you know, dealing with your own journey and stuff like that, it's going to be some tricky shit. You know, people are going to have their own perceptions. You're going to have your own perception. All right. Life itself is just going to have multiple perceptions. You just got to be able to control it. All right. You got to be able to control your eye because it's going to definitely be deceptive. Okay. Um, now, initially what I want to talk about is the control out delete. All right. I call this the control out delete. It is a level of understanding. All right. To overstand the energy. All right. And how it can manipulate your reality. Okay. All just through your mind. So we're going to talk about the control alt delete process, all right? That help us to overcome what actually helped me also to overcome, you know, my mind, all right? To be able to control it, to be able to dictate, well not dictate, but read the energy, okay? Around me in my space, including myself, okay? And others. All right? But control, the first one, all right, 
you got to learn, like, like bro was just saying, most definitely we did that. Yeah, we did, bro. We did that right there. We believed everything that was put on social media. The family put that story out. That was a story based off their own emotions, which a lot of black families do. All right? A lot of fat black families do that, especially when it has something to do with the police. We automatically get into a defensive mode, that victim mode, and we create a narrative in our mind. That's the demises and shit. Okay? All right? Sandra's demises is what caused her to be unalive. Didn't nobody do that. You know, that was her. And let's just say hypothetically. If the police did, the police did unalive her. Who was attracting that energy? All right. Who put that energy out there? And attracted it. Because of the mindset. Alright. Same thing dealing with the cops. Okay. Whatever their mindset was. The way they looked at her. Okay. Hypothetically if they did. Take her. You know. Take her out. What I'm trying to say. And what I'm trying to get to is. At the end of the day. It's all about the mind. Okay. Okay. We swing it how won't we won't we swing it how won't it all emotions right we do we do and that's why we're talking about control out delete today because hypothetically if they did do it where was their mind at we knew what Sandra mind was there it was on black power but it was also on the flip side of it of being unified okay with the Caucasians all right so you got to look at things from all angles especially when it's dealing with the mind all right now I can understand when my bro put out years ago about Sandra Bland's situation wasn't real yes the narrative was not real the truth is she took herself out All right. What's good, bro? All right. Your mind does it every time. So, yeah, that's why we're we talking about this control out delete. All right. You got to control the energy. You got to control your motion. Yeah, we got to take accountability for our energy on all angles, all levels, all reflections. This shit is bigger than just one image. Okay? <laughs> got to look at this shit through all, you know, all angles. Alright? Just like when you're walking in your own journey, you got to... You got to take accountability for just even the steps you did before the steps that you're taking now. All right. And accountability ain't got to be a bad thing. It can be a great thing. You can be done did something good and you got to take accountability. Or, yes, I did this because I had to do that. But even when it comes to these things that keep us in a certain mindset. Okay. A fear. All right. Don't want to reflect. Don't want to look at the problem, the issue of dealing with self. All right. That's when it becomes a a, 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 a demise. Okay. All right. And then what they say, that's the, your, your emotions. You all emotional. You emotional. Yes, you emotional because your demise is of your mind. How you view your life, how you view reality says a lot it says everything about you down to your personality but yeah we got to control we still on control okay we got to control 
the energy, control your energy, okay, your space around you. All right, you got to control who gonna come in your space, who ain't gonna come, who gonna come in, and who ain't. All right, because you're reading the room, you're reading the energy. All right, because anything can shift. And or alter your energy, okay? Which instantly, instantly goes right into your mindset. Alright? It becomes a part of your mindset. So you gotta control your energy, okay? Your space, all it around you, your environment, and your mind, okay? You gotta control your own mind. When you be, we, when we became free, Okay, freedom through the mind, right? You got to control your own. That's controlling your own mind. All right? You ain't following what everybody, you know, the masses. Okay? I ain't going to say everybody. But you're not following the masses. Okay? That's just like the shit at the mall when people was running. <laughs> you know what I was seeing? I wasn't even thinking about the aliens. But what I was seeing is, you know how like one person run and then everybody start running? That's what I was seeing. One person started running, then a couple people started running behind that person, and then goddamn, every, now you see everybody running. Okay? Don't even know why you running, but you running. So you gotta, you gotta control your own mind. Alright? Especially when it comes to the control, I'll delete. You gotta control your mind, control your actions, your body. Okay? Control your thoughts. Alright? When it comes to this alt. Well, hold up. Let me, before I go to the alt, I wrote something. Dealing with this control of the energy. Okay? Dealing with your control. Alright? Now, majority of the people, alright? Majority of people think with their emotions. The masses, they think with their emotions. That's just like in the Sandra Bland case. We was thinking with our emotions. That's how the government gets us. You know, especially when shit, you know, them certain tactics. They get us in their goddamn emotions and we be using our emotions. And thinking with that shit. All right, just going off with the motion. We just going off with the motion of the energy, which is, you know, being easily manipulated. All right, being easily manipulated, just like one person running and everybody running, easily manipulated. I be one of the people I know. I be like, what the fuck were they running for? What the hell? I be trying to see what the hell they running from. I'm one of those people. You better ask my family because I'm definitely that person. I would be looking like, what the hell they running for? My family probably be pulling on me, trying to get me to come on. Girl, what the hell? We ain't got time to be looking to see what's going on. I'm trying to see. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So that just shows how the mind can be easily manipulated. All right. Because people be a lot of people think with their emotions, all right. But the the thing that they should be doing, okay, is to control their emotions, okay, with what they think. That's the key. You gotta control your emotions on what or how you think. You can't just allow the emotion, okay. To control what you think. You can't. You got to control the emotions. On how you think. What you think. Alright. Because that's controlling your energy. <clears throat> Alright. You can't just let your energy out here. Going haywire. And, and, and going off the motions. Pieces. Alright. So you got to control. Control your mind. Control your energy, your space, your environment. Okay? Everything that's around you. Alright? That connects to you. You control that. Alright? Now, when they get to this alt, 
this out is really an alternate button. Okay. Peace, peace, sis. What's goody? <laughs> this alt button is really your alternate button. Okay. We just push the control button. All right. Now we on the alt, which is the alternate. Okay. And these are three buttons. <laughs> three. Okay. The three. Damn. But anyway. But that's the alternate button. Now this alternate is what you shift. Okay. The fallback. All right. Relief. Release. Let go. Alter. Okay. You're altering your mind. Okay. And it also means replace. This also deals with replacing. Okay. You're replacing energy. You're shifting your mind. You're falling back. Okay. So you can have a relief. So you can release or let go. All of these things deal with alternate. All right. When you're alternating your reality, this is what you're doing through your mind. Okay. Now that you control it, when you control it, you can alternate it. All right. That's just like the leveling up. Okay. All right. That's the elevation. You recognizing what you got to do and, you know, the things that you need to change or the things you need to let go. You know, that's the alternate energy. All right. Even when, I, you know, just like what I mind, you know, letting them old cells go. Okay. Releasing them. And we got to do people like that, too. Okay. Not just with our mind, you know. Physically, you have to have a sense of relief. Okay, that's like exhaling. Okay? You have to exhale. Okay, that alternates your reality, your mindset. Okay? Meditation is one way to help with alternating your mindset. Because you're breathing. Okay, you're exhaling. You're breathing in, you're breathing out. Okay? That's a relief. Alright, that's a release. Or the letting go. Alright? But you also have to let physical things go. You have to have that sense of relief of letting go. Alright? Releasing it or replacing it. Shifting it. Okay? Alright? So, yeah. We, we have to control and out. Alright? You have to have the control first. So, just so you can alternate. Alright? Then we get to this delete. Now, you would think that delete would deal, you know, let go and release and all of that would deal with delete. Mm -mm. And this is where a lot of people get caught up in. They don't even make it to the step. They don't even make it to the step. Yes, we step outside self, the emotion, look at the whole picture fully, not just one, one sense. Right. You got to look at it from all angles. Okay? When you playing a video game or when you playing a board game, when you doing all of that at your job, you know, you're actually taking certain measurements and looking at it from all angles before you do your final decision. Alright? Because once you make that final decision, it becomes your choice. And we know choices deal with you know, the alternation of your reality. Alright? But, you would think, you know, delete would deal with this relief and release and all of that. But, it's a lot of people that get, they don't even make it to their delete. They have control for maybe a split second. They're not consistent or, you know, light with me. Okay? Dealing with my part of journey of me, you know, letting go of the cigarettes when I was smoking cigarettes and stuff like that, right? But, you know, the consistency can be a, a motherfucker at times, especially when you first, you're starting off, okay? On any new project or any new, um, task that you've taken upon, okay? So, a lot of us will get caught up on this alternate. 
We'll have the control for, you know, you know, at times. And at times that we do have the control, we're able to alternate our mind, shift it, okay? Standing solid, okay? With our relief and releasing and letting go in the alternate energy, okay? When it comes to shifting your mindset, all right? Peace, peace, sis. Okay? So a lot of us, we have gotten caught up on that. Okay? We will relief and release and let go and alter. Okay? We'll even replace it. Because a lot of times it's easier to replace it. Alright? It's good, sis. Because we still on this alternate. <laughs> uh it's good to replace it and it's easy to replace because you don't have to look at it. You don't have to acknowledge it. Okay. It's just like if I would have replaced what I was, my cigarettes for another bad habit. Right. Okay. To kind of, repl to fill that void. All right. And a lot of people, that's why they get caught up in their alternating energy because they try to replace something. All right. Whether it's mentally, you know, mentally and physically, they try to replace it to fill a void, all right, that they don't make it to the delete button, all right? Just just like with, you know, there's people with, you know, that's got certain other certain addictions or, you know, went through things and they've replaced that pain, that trauma with something that is of a substance. Okay? To fill the void. So they won't have to feel it. They won't have to reflect it or face it. It's easier to replace. And that's why a lot of people get caught up in this alternating ass energy. Okay? You really think you got control, but you really don't. Your control wasn't consistent because you are playing in the energy of replacing instead of facing it so you can have a relief to release it you know let it go and once you are solid on that okay just like with me once I'm very solid on that okay then we get to the delete button okay then you get to your delete button but you got to be solid Okay? Because it's going to be your choice once you start deleting shit. Okay? And that's the choice that's going to play out through the energy motion. Alright? So, yeah. When we get to the delete button, we know delete automatically deals with erasing. Okay? Removing. Okay? So, this is actually completely getting it out of your system. Completely controlling it. Okay? Where it no longer affects you, distracts you, disturb you, or get you out of character in a sense, you know, in this dark space within yourself. Okay? You know, I've, I've seen people sometimes they be cool, they be cool and come collect. Especially watching on YouTube on certain, you know, sectors. You know, they can be cool and collect, calm and collect. And then the next thing you know is, oh, I'm so depressed. I'm just so depressed. I'm stressed. And they're staying there and they will milk it. All right. They will stay in that energy and they will milk it. Because a lot of people use that for sympathy too. They love to play in the victim. Okay. When it comes to facing self. All right. Alright? But you cannot stay in the energy of depressing. Okay? Alright? You can't you can't stay in that energy. Alright? You gotta get out of it. You cannot allow that energy, which is your emotion, out of whack. Okay? Control your thoughts, your thinking process. Face the hall of mirrors of self. Yeah, face the hall of mirrors of self. Okay? Face it. 
I promise you it's not going to be that bad. You might cry and all of that, whatever, when you face yourself and reckon, you know, just accept, okay, the things in your, in your journey, okay, even if you can't change it. All right. That's that, that deals with alternating. Okay. Even when you can't change it, you still can alternate. That shift your mind because you're going to be in a, a space of relief. Okay, you're going to gain your relief, your power. That way you can release and let go so you can get to the delete where you remove shit. You erase shit out your life. Cut them off. The cut off energy. Okay, cut the ties with people. Okay, cutting the ties of old things that you, that's caused, that's caused you to stay in, in a space with yourself, you know, keeping you hindered. All right. Your old ways, old mindset, you know, old people, you know, people you don't fool with, the cut off, okay? That's dealing with that delete. That means ain't no going back to that, okay? Ain't no going back to that. It's gone, okay? Also, with the delete button, other than, you know, just cut off, but it, like I said, it's a takeout, Counsel, okay? Counsel, okay? Counsel it, all right? Counsel a lot of people's subscriptions. You can't be subscribed to everybody. And I ain't talking about no channels. I'm talking about subscribing to people, energy, you know, connecting. Sometimes you have to unsubscribe. You got to counsel that subscription. Yep, control, alt, delete. Okay, in that order. You got to control your mind first, okay, just so you can alternate it, okay, out, and, and get into the deleting, okay, that cut off, all right, right, stand firm, you got to stand firm, okay, and stand firm in what, your beliefs, all right, standing firm in your beliefs, all right, Okay, protect your energy at all costs. Uh-uh. I know we don't stand a bunch of times over here. We stand you with our energy. We very particular who we put in our space. I know I am. Because I know my heart too. And I have a big ass heart. Okay? I got a big ass heart. So, I am very particular who I let in my space. Because I don't want to just be letting people in based off of my heart. That's that emotion motherfucking shit again. Okay? Thinking with the emotions. Alright? So, I have to warm up to people from a distance. Okay? It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a boot camp with me. Because <laughs> I like to be myself. I don't like to pretend in front of nobody. I like to be me. Alright, so yeah, I'm very particular who I, who, mm -mm. I don't have some crazy motherfuckers in my space. And some of them, it took years to get them the fuck out. Okay? Be cutting them off and they keep coming the fuck back and shit like, God damn, I'm trying to control, I'll delete your ass. And you keep fucking coming back and shit. Leave me alone, man. Eh? I don't mean none of these old ass files. <laughs> Right? <laughs> them energy bounce be draining, so you gotta be so Yeah, you gotta be selective. You gotta be very selective. Them motherfuckers come in like a thief in the night, okay? They could be a they could be good, but they'll sell the shit. Okay, they will sell it. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, latch on like leeches, like a motherfucker. Okay, be let you know. No, I don't want to be bit today. Leave me alone. Mm -mm, hell to the no. I be in the house, goddamn, like I'm still on quarantine. I ain't playing. Mm -mm. I come out when I needs to come out. <laughs> but I'm still quarantining, baby. I ain't, uh uh. Mm -mm. Streets is dangerous, baby. But yeah, you know. You got to cancel the subscription. You got to let this shit go. All right? 
also with this delete, which is very important, okay? When you delete, you erase all that shit, okay? Even if you, when you erase your whole memory, okay? Okay, now, home body. When you erase your whole memory, that means, like, you might have certain little deja vu of memories that's gonna come through, you know? Like, you know, I used to be a thug, but, <laughs> but I ain't a thug no more, you know? That type of, you know, that type of transition. So, you have to erase your whole, you have to delete the whole mindset, okay? Get rid of the old blueprint. All right? Because that is when you're going to go through a transition. When you start removing and cutting off shit. All right? That deals with your deletion. Okay? And you're going to destroy every file. Every old attachments. Okay? Sales. You know, old experiences. All of that shit. You're going you're gonna to destroy it. All right. When it comes to your deletion, now a lot of people don't want to get to that. They don't want to get to the delete because you know once you push the delete button, it's gone. It's gone. Once you push it, it's gone. Ain't, ain't no going back. Okay, that's just like when you woke up with your first eye. Once you start seeing shit, okay, you don't you don't got a control. All right, you surfing like a motherfucker once you became aware. You, you was woke, okay? Your third eye was open in the motherfucker, all right? All right? You, you start, <laughs> you start surfing in this motherfucker, okay? You started to get control over your mind. You researching and you finding shit. Then you started alternating your mind, okay? It was going through multiple shifts, all right? You was coming out of the mud of the enslavement of your freaking mind. So you started going through all these multiple shifts. Once you became awakened. Okay? Which is where you was alternating your mind. Okay? You was reliefing, falling back, releasing, letting go. Okay? Replacing the bad with the good. Okay? Or the old with the new. Alright? All through your spiritual transition. Okay? To get to where you went today. Then you started deleting all the, the black power stories. You started deleting slavery. You started deleting the, the Illuminati uh, illusions. You started deleting all these tactics and old ass bullshit stories. Okay? Then it ain't even in you anymore. Alright? You don't destroy it. You seeked and destroyed. Alright? You went through a whole transition when you became awakened. When you came out of the church and started following yourself. That's a, 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 a high level of transitioning within itself. Okay? You went through the control out delete era within yourself. Okay? You was in the three. Alright? I know if you don't delete when your true self say so. Oh boy. Spirit will stir some shit up. Go get them. Okay? Just like when they found what was on my lungs. Okay? Peace, peace, bro. I know it's bad. It's getting bad out there. I know. It's supposed to be coming down here. I'm getting ready. I'm prepared. I'm about me a lot of water and everything. Okay? Food that I can cook without fire, electricity. Yeah. I, I, I'm prepared. Okay? They said, get ready. I said, I'm getting ready. God damn it. Because something ain't right in the pudding. Because I got my feet been cold. The weather been tripping. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. So I, I understand when you're going through this winter storm up there. It's coming down here too. Peace, peace, bro. But yeah, when you, you went through this whole transition, you know, you went through a great transition when you became awakened. All right. You got to rid of all of that shit. You can never go back to believing that you was a slave. You can never go back to church and, 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 and be manipulated by the word of how it was told, okay? You can never go back. You questioning every freaking thing in an existence. You can never go back. Okay, I got you a fire pit. That's what I told Shannon. We need to go get us some firewood. <laughs> you thought, what we going to put it in? We got a nice sturdy pan 
Okay? It's a big pot. We can put some fire, but now, nah. We're we not going to be cold. Okay? I will go in MacGyver mode. Okay? Survival. Mm-mm. Fear, yeah, working on deleting fear. We went through that level too. Definitely did. See, that's the mo that's the that's the biggest root <laughs> that a lot of people don't want to delete. Cause when you delete fear, you have to face everything. There's nothing holding you back from seeing it. Okay? When you release fear and get rid of it out of your system okay you 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 have no choice to see nothing I mean to see everything for what it is say so I got the oven is it is it uh battery you gotta plug it in you can plug it in in the car something like that because baby it's it's gonna be hmm crazy out here my oven, when the electricity go off, we ain't got nothing. We ain't got no power. <laughs> nothing. Can't even cut the stove off. But, yeah. Delete. You got to delete. You got to delete all them, okay? The, all the thoughts. the negative, All the negative thoughts, okay? The negative energy, okay? All that shit that's not balancing you out, okay? All that shit that's not making you see... See the truth right in front of you, okay? Even if it's you trying, you, you, you feeling or knowing the inner that you need to change something about yourself or you need to let something go, okay? You have to release that because even if you don't, it's just going to keep you uneasy, which is a, being unbalanced, okay? It's not going to balance you out. It's just going to keep you in a fearful mindset, okay, which is not going to allow you to be limitless. That means now you're limited to shit because you're in so much fear, okay, that you're limiting your reality. All right, we here. We limited our reality. Remember, you know, with the old, um, what would they would say? They would say, um. Oh, what they call them? It's, it's, I can't even think of the damn word, y'all. But, I'm gonna have to find another example. But, <laughs> uh, we, we fell for so much shit. Okay, just, even by just being generated from generators, you know, generations to generations. This is just how this shit plays out. But we're in a space now, okay? And, and it's, it's a lot of people in this space now. Where they're in this questioning of self, okay? They're in the control of their energy, okay? They're in that energy of control, getting their control back. Anytime you start to question shit that doesn't even fit your narrative, that's you controlling the shit. You trying to gain control, okay? To gain some understanding or understanding. Alright? But yeah, a lot of people don't want to, they don't want to delete. And you have to delete. Just like the Sandra Bland. We got to delete that old narrative. Because the truth is in the pudding. It was always there. We just allowed the masses of the energy to control and alternate our own mindset. Okay? We wasn't deleting. We weren't getting rid of old files. We were just stacking files on stack of files. All right? But even if, like I said, hypothetically, if it went the other way, you still have to get your mindset out of that black and white era. Okay? You still got to get your mindset out of this black power. Okay? <laughs> you got to elevate. Okay? See the unison in everything. All right? You got to see the unison in everything. Yeah, you gotta work for the truth. Definitely gotta work for the truth. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to know something in school, what you had to do, you had to raise your hand so you can gain the truth. Other than that, if you didn't raise your hand, you didn't understand. You were just following and think you were doing what was right, but it wasn't initially right. You 
You over there trying to copy off on somebody else shit. Because you scared to raise your hand to get the truth. Okay? Raising your hand to yourself and gaining the truth. All right? We in, like I said, we in this energy of everybody's questioning everything. Okay? This awareness energy is so strong. And it's going to be strong from here on out. Okay? But like I said, and even in this questioning area, people questioning their faith and questioning their existence and questioning this experience. Okay? They still in this alternate energy. They in the, they in between control and alternate. They ain't ready to transition over. They're not ready to transition over because you still talking about shit that we were talking about probably six, seven years ago. You don't be going to goddamn first grade talking about what you did in first grade and second grade. You elevate. You still talking about shit that we did probably we were talking about six, seven years ago. Alright? And they would talk shit if you did raise your hand. Okay! They would. People would make you feel ashamed. Alright? Anytime you are outspoken or anytime you're trying to gain a, a strong, um, you're trying to gain an understanding. Okay? An understanding. Alright? There's going to always be the ones that's in fear. That they're the ones that be making you feel ashamed or raising your hand want to say, oh, she's just a nerd. He's just a nerd. Okay? You're the teacher's pet. <laughs> Whatever. You know how they do in school, right? But anytime people did that, okay, it's because they was afraid. They was afraid. They was afraid, they was afraid to gain the understanding of their own, Okay? They too busy cheating and copying off of other people goddamn understanding. Instead of getting their own understanding. Okay? Leaning on your own understanding. Okay? They was too caught up in somebody else's understanding. That's how people, you know, the masses really tend to follow. Okay? Alright? You got to do what's right for you. Because it's always you. It ain't about nobody else. It's only you. Alright? And it's all, as long as you. Alright? It's 100 with you. Everything in your space. Okay? That you control. Alright? It's going to be good too. If that's your kids. If that's your man, if that's your job, or you going to school, your friends, okay? Even if you just you needed some peace, okay? All right? Especially when you can get some peace, then you can sit there and marinate and really get into the alternate energy, that energy okay? And start alternating a lot of shit. A lot of people do that. They get how to get the fucking talking. That shit be getting on my nerve. I'm sorry. This shit be getting on my motherfucking nerve. I hate when people get goddamn smoking and just be talking and they don't be down. They just be talking. Have some great ass ideas and great points. Okay. Even motivate, they motivate the hell out of you. But they just fucking talking. But see, they higher self, their energy, okay, is talking what they need to be listening to self about. Now, it's so crazy how people can easily motivate you but can't even motivate themselves. They just be talking. Alright? They don't never follow through. They come up with... Do you know how many motherfuckers that came up with some shit just smoking some blood? Okay, shit that they can goddamn own, patent their own shit, just... That's it. Don't do shit with it. Just be wasting it. Just be wasting it. Just be wasting motherfucking dreams to me. <laughs> Just be wasting it. You know what I mean? You sitting in the alternating energy right there at the altar. You right there at the altar. Spilling all your guts and <laughs> out to the altar of yourself. 
And yourself is like, hmm. But when are you going to walk? When you going to make that step? All right. When you going to let go? <laughs> All right. You right there at your altar. That's your alt. Delete. That's your alt button. Your altar. Okay. You connecting with your ancestors. Okay. Which is the for reflections within you. All right. You just talking to the altar. You're feeding the altar. You're watering the altar. You're putting all the energy into your altar. You're putting the energy in. Okay? By replacing it with other shit. Physical mindset shit. Okay? Instead of relief and release and letting go. Alright? But hell yeah, be right there at the altar. Just... Goddamn speaking in tongues at this point. You're just speaking in motherfucking tongues. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going no damn well. I guess how I, I dive in. <laughs> okay? And I get to writing, baby. Okay, that's the energy coming out. Because I'm going to sit with myself. Okay? I'm always in alternating at the altar. Okay? I'm always at the altar. Shit, I be shifting and moving all kind of shit in my mind. You know what I mean? Be getting a sense of relief. Alright, yeah, I gotta let that go. I can't do that no more. I gotta, you know, change it about my brand. I need to change this about the house. You know, so, you know, yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. I might get out the house today. <laughs> you know, I'll be at the altar. But I'll follow through. <laughs> Just like Shay said. Follow through. I, I follow through now. I steps outside. Okay? I don't just be talking. Hell to the now. I don't like to waste my breath. Fuck that. Especially when it comes to myself. I ain't just going to be talking to myself. Because my other self, myself, is looking at me like, bitch, I'm tired of you just talking. You just talking, talking, talking. Can we make some actions? Can we get the action popping? <laughs> Can we delete some shit up out of the storage? Okay? Cause so we can wheel in some new shit, you know? You got all these brilliant ass ideas. Okay? You got a master plan. <laughs> All right, you you got this master plan, you know you you wanna you wanna execute it, and you you I'm telling you, we will serve a good ass sermon at our altar, okay? <laughs> a good ass sermon at our altar, but be the own motherfucking goddamn uh what they call it um uh, prophet, okay? Will be the be your own motherfucking prophet. All right, it's all through your mind, and we be right at it. Okay, false motherfucking prophet all day at the altar, giving out good sermons and shit are all up in the mind. <laughs> but I ain't doing a motherfucking thing. Okay, all right. Now we know what a crooked ass Christian is, okay? Now we know what a, cro a crooked ass Christian is now, okay? That's your Christ self in, and you just being crooked as fuck with it. Alright? Lying to the motherfucking altar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pieces. <laughs> there are how many times we see that shit, sis. Say, look at this motherfucker. Okay, be like, look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker just talking, talking, talking. God damn, I'm, I'm tired of sitting in the hot box. Let me out. Let me explore. I want to be Dora. Okay? I mean, find some new gems and shit. Alright, through this journey. I ain't got time to be just sitting up in this old ass shit in this shelter. Let me out. And that's how your mind be, alright? Especially in this alternate energy. That alternate energy is a motherfucker. Because like I said, you ain't alternating shit but old energy if you ain't shifting and you ain't falling back and relieving. Alright? You ain't releasing and letting that shit go. 
And even if you do, you at the altar still being a false prophet to yourself. All right? Replacing it with other shit. That's what we did when we when we got Jesus. Okay? We replaced ourselves with the image of Jesus. Okay? At our own fucking altar. We put him at the head of our altar. Okay? That image. Alright? When it has always been you at your altar, the head of your own altar. Okay? Alright? In the temples, okay? In the kingdom of God, all of that. It's always been you. It's always been about your choices and your decisions in life. That ain't nothing Jesus can do. It's your choices, all right, by your decisions. All right? Every step of the freaking way. All right? Every step of the freaking way. But yeah, we got to delete, got to delete, you got to delete, push the red button, push the red button, okay? You know how the, the president's got, they got that big ass red button? It's time to create, what, what is that, the uh, the nuclear, nuclear war, okay? It's time to let the bombs drop, okay? And also what they do when that time when he pushed it. The motherfucking White House, mm -hmm, White House, okay, is definitely governed, okay? It is covered and it is got all of the security around, okay? That's controlling the mind. All right? Controlling and protecting your mind, your energy. Especially when you finna get ready to release and you're gonna delete that shit. That means that's the nuclear war. That's the atomic bomb finna drop. Okay? And when atomic bombs drop, what they do? They wipe out shit. They remove, erase. So you have to delete. A lot of people don't want to delete. Delete, 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 delete. This should be the year to delete. When you even even saying why me, delete that bitch. Don't even say, don't even give why me a goddamn type of fucking energy to goddamn make you get into a mindset where you questioning the question and question. When it comes to why me, come up, just delete that bitch. Delete. Why me? No, mm, delete. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Because where I'm at right now, it ain't a why. It ain't a why because I control my own destiny. Mind. I control my own destinies by my cause and effects of the decision of choices. I will never leave nor forsake you. It's been there from birth. Okay? Say that. Okay? And those scriptures be deep. <laughs> well, our minds at it right now, we understand, we understand the scripture. Okay? All right, because it's metaphysically all about you. <laughs> all right, you going through the journey from the beginning to the end to the end, the beginning. Okay, it's all about you, your mindset. Okay. But yeah, got to get repeat. We got to get you know the the negative thoughts. You know you got to clear your thoughts all the time too. Yeah, when you you know after all of the deleting and stuff, continue to clear your mind. Okay, because that's still controlling and alter. I mean not alter but alternating it. Okay, and it's making it easier for you to the delete shit. Okay, always have a clear conscience. That's clearing your mind. All right, and when you clear your mind, of course, <coughs> your focus, your focus, or your focal point is always on point. Okay, it's gonna always be on point because you're solid in what you believe in. Another key 
All right, when it comes to this negative energy or, you know, the low vibration of yourself, when you're just in that low energy, all right? The key to the low energy, like I've always said, it's not a, a bad thing. I hate the negative shit, but that just deals with it scientifically. But people take negative as bad, all right? Even low, but that low energy, okay? This is where... The alternation takes place too. You alternate all negative energy vibration, um, vibrational, all, hold up, alternate all negative vibrational energy into positive vibrational energy. Okay? Cause there, we're gonna always have a fall in life. Every time you're in a good space. Alright? Every time things are going good for you. Alright? There's going to always be a fall. Okay? And normally when people go through the fall, that's when their beliefs, okay, go away. Alright? It is easily manipulated. Alright? It is easily distracted. Okay? Because people think, you know, when you're high, you're high. Always when you are high, okay, <laughs> you're going to always go to your low. You learn all your lessons in your lower energy. It's where the roots and everything lie, okay? It also deals with your heart. So you're going to learn all your lessons, your experiences is going to deal, is going to be in the low vibrational energy, okay? Or that negative energy. Or the root, okay? All of that, that takes place in that energy, okay? And when you gain the understanding, okay, and you shift your mind, even if it's some old shit, okay, you shift your mind from it, that is taking it into an alternating energy or space, okay, in your mind, which, gonna, which is going to create a positive vibrational energy okay it's gonna raise that's like your kundalini energy coming from the root up all right so anytime you're in these low spaces or low times you know especially when everything is going good because it's everything what is that what is the saying it's too good for everything to be true or it's too true for everything to be good something like that that's, that's really a true statement. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everything is not going to always be good. Everything is not going to always go your way. You're going to have a mis misstep, you know, a mishap. All right? You're going to mess up somewhere. All right? You might even regurgitate just a little bit. But you're supposed to automatically where you're at in controlling your energy. All right? And learning how to alternate and shift in your mindset. You're going to automatically, you know, you're going to automatically rise into this positive vibrational energy within yourself. Okay? Alright? You got to be patient with yourself. I know it's going, it's hard out here. It is, you know, especially when the mind is all. Alright? But that mind, you're going to have to have patience with yourself. Okay? Give yourself time to build. Be in consistency. All right, and gain a strong will. All right, a strong will within yourself. But you got to stay determined. Okay, that's just like me in my situation. I'm, I'm turning a new leaf of not smoking the cig. Okay, so I'm in this energy of being patient with myself because I know I've had a setback. Okay, I know, you know, I've regurgitated. Okay, to the cigarette, but. I didn't want to feel like a failure. And you don't want to be in the energy of feeling like you're failing. Because then that puts you in a state of fear. All right. Which is going to keep you in a space where you're just going to replace it with something else. Instead of letting go or getting that sense of relief. Okay. Which is the understanding to overstand. All right. So I know I got to be patient with myself. And this gives me the time to actually just build the consistency I need of letting go of the sin. Okay? Everybody is not the same. My story is not going to be like somebody else. The only thing that's going to be the same is the end result that I'm not going to be a smoker anymore. My process is going to be different. Alright? But my aim is 
to be smoke free. All right. And long as I have that determination in my mind and I keep willing in that determination, then that's what's going to apply. Okay. It's going to start willing in my consistency of letting go. All right. And not picking up and replacing. All right. So you got to be patient with yourself. All right. Even when you're going through this control alt delete era. Okay. Within your mind. Okay. You got to be patient. That determination is going to pre be the process of never giving up. Okay. And you got to accept your falls, your failures, and your mishaps. All right. All right. Now, I was in this process of when I was writing all this down, this envious energy came up. And it's really heavy. Okay. It's really heavy because. If we can be honest, we all are going to be envious of each other in some type of way of nature. All right? I know I'll be like, I use that word good, quick. Okay? Motherfuckers just be so envious. And I understand why they be envious. Okay? We, you got to understand what the envious is. Okay? All right? But I also had to self-reflect on the envious energy of why people are so envious. Okay? You have to look at yourself in the mirror too. Because we're all going to be envious at some point or you know, in our nature, in our journey, okay? But, hear me out. We become so envious to ourselves by being into C. Because envious means into, okay? That means into, okay? So we become so envious to ourselves by being into, see others, and not seeing ourselves, okay? That could be the negative aspect, the low vibrational part of it, Okay? But it's a reason you're going to look at it that way because this is giving you the, the time and the space to reflect and face yourself. Okay? Recognizing the energy within yourself. And what we want, okay? And what we want, okay, let me just start over. We become so envious to ourselves by being and to see others and not seeing self and what we want. But mad at someone because they're where self wants to be. This is why we be envious. All right. And it don't have to be a bad thing. All right. It doesn't have to be a bad thing because we all are going to look or be um, admired by somebody's growth. Okay. And we want to be there. Okay. Now, this is where it becomes the problem when it's dealing with envious. You see where you want to be. All right. But then you create this narrative of hate, madness. OK. All right. When it's really 100 percent how you feel about yourself. All right. Instead of taking someone else's growth or somewhere else's light or where you want to be or what you want to change about yourself and looking at it and be like, hmm. I am envious of that because that's what I need to be into to see about myself so I can change. All right. All right. In Latin, you know, they call uh, envious inventory, which literally means look upon. All right. Yeah, we going to look upon another. Okay, I'm gonna look upon y'all and be like, yes, I, I, I can't. I, I'm so envious of that because she don't stop smoking, and I need to get there. I need to get there. Okay, but I'm not gonna be looking at it in a negative aspect of, oh, that shit just irritating me. Because in reality, that's what I wanna be. Okay. That's it for me. Patience. I have a lot of patience in the outer world, but I don't have it in my inner world as much as my outer world. That's one of my doings that needs working on. Thank you. Yeah, you got to have patience with yourself. You got to. You got to have patience with yourself. You know what I mean? It's so effective when we do. And patience like, baby, you got it. Just take your time. You got it. Right. We project we project our own feelings when we're envious. Yes. That's what we do. 
All right. Instead of just looking into, which is what envious is, look into, look upon and see what you need to do. You see yourself on a higher perspective of where you want to go, but you mad. The fuck? Get your ass up and out and do something. <laughs> okay. All right. We envy each other regardless. But, you know, like I said, the envious energy can be used in a positive way to motivate yourself. Okay. To push the control off delete button. Okay. You can use it in a positive aspect within yourself of motivating yourself to push the control alt delete okay dealing with your mind that button okay to air out the dust okay that is holding up the space or the old files in your mind all right this part the saints can't catch the holy ghost okay so they can't <laughs> they can't that's what they say so, when we're going through this whole process of the control, alt, delete, okay, when we're at the delete part, now I got something for you since you brought up the church, okay? In the Bible, the delete button lies in, uh, what is it? Revelation. That's all about the delete button. It's all about destruction. It's all about letting go. It's all about erasing, removing. Okay? So Revelations is so scared. Okay? To a lot of people. I just said it. They don't want to delete. Alright? That's the revelations of their mind. Okay? Time to be resurrected. And you know when you go through that process within yourself. You are erasing. Alright? Getting rid of that old energy. Revelation is all about the delete button. Removal. Seek and destroy. Alright? Pieces. Seek and destroy. It's all about that in Revelations. It's dealing with your mental. All right? And once you go through that, okay? Like I said, that's allowing the mind to resurrect, okay? And when you're resurrecting your mind, you're saving yourself. Okay? You become the savior. All right? You are actually saving yourself. You are being free. Okay? That's the freedom. Freeing the soul. Alright? So when we go through this control, I'll delete. Alright? You, you get rid of all this dust shit. Okay? That's the revelation coming in. You about to be resurrected. Alright? You're going to save yourself. Okay, from all the demises that has kept you down, the shit that you've been lying to yourself about, not having no trust at all, just being fearful of moving forward and letting go. Okay, by trying to convince your mind now, you're trying to convince your mind. Okay, but your heart is not free of none of that shit. It's full of the turmoil that you have allowed to control your mind. Okay? Yes. Okay? That resurrection is you saving yourself from the, the, the demises that you've created in your own fucking mind. The shit you've lied to yourself about. You know, lying to yourself that you're going to change, but you ain't changing. Lying to yourself, I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them go. I don't want to be with them no more. I'm, I'm just going to let them go. I don't, don't want to do it. You lie to yourself. Lie to yourself that you want better, but you ain't doing nothing to get it or to receive it. Okay? But see, that resurrection, 
when you go to that delete, all those lies that you've created and said to yourself are removed. Okay? They are forever perished. They're gone. Alright? But people be still trying to convince their motherfucking mind. Still trying to convince the mind. Mm-mm. When your goddamn heart is still fucked up. Yo, you still lying to yourself. Alright? You still doing all of that shit. You allowing the emotions to control your thinking. All right. We did that with Sandra. We allowed. We did that with Sandra. What? What's the other one? Uh, damn, I can't think of their name, y'all. But y'all know the ones. <laughs> I, I'm in. The, I'm in the space right now. I can't even think of their names. But everyone that we've marched for, put it like that. Everybody we marched for, we was marching off our fucking emotions. We was thinking, okay. Our emotions was thinking for us. We was marching just off the fucking emotions. Running in fucking circles. Alright? And then we started to control our emotions and our thoughts by, why are we marching? It ain't doing shit. Why are we marching? Why are we marching? It ain't doing shit. You know why it ain't doing shit? Because it starts with self. Marching is a fucking chain game. The motherfucking chain game. Okay? What? Marching side by side. The chain game. Alright? But you go through the you go through your resurrection and all of that. That's gonna free your mind, okay? You're gonna really get freedom that way. All right, when you start to alternate and delete and remove some shit and get up all, all of your out your mind, then you really you really free. You become a free thinker. All right, you just don't go off what people say. You you go look and you go find. Okay, you you research. Okay, you lean on your own understanding. You you get the understanding for self. All right. But you free your mind, okay? And once you free your mind, you revive your heart. Mm-hmm. You got a new heart. All that old shit, you know, heart come lighter than a feather. Okay? You restore your heart. I mean, you revive your heart, and you be, then you begin to restore love. All right? You begin to restore love. That's that oneness. And once you get this oneness, this wholeness, okay, that three, all right, everything in alignment, overstanding starts to happen, okay? You see shit for what it really is from all angles, okay? You just don't take one side of the story. You look for all the characters and all the angles of the story, all right? Creating me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Okay? Okay? Now? It's all in the good book. It's all there. Okay? But you restore your love. You get this overstanding. And once you get that, you know what happens? You start to regenerate that spirit with this wholeness energy. That love. Okay? That's that breath of new life that you gain. All right, right into yourself, okay, which causes you to wake up from your own fucking nightmare. All right, it causes you to wake up from your own fucking nightmare. You know that hell on earth type of motherfucking energy. Okay, it's definitely a guy. I just said on the lady comment the other that at once I used to I used to be I have so much lot um, love in my heart to give the world and I said what happened okay you gotta be stingy you gotta be fucking you gotta be you gotta protect the heart that's what got, got our, our heart fucked up the first time we were just taking everything in the motherfucking heart okay the heart is generating our emotions the energy motion okay we was following our fucking hearts 
like a motherfucker with all this fucked up ass energy. The fear and all of that in the heart. Some of this is going on with me. Okay? Myself too, sis. Myself too. Used to have to say that every night. Yeah. That's a good line to, to say. Okay? It's going to wheel you back in. This body is supposed to help protect the heart too. Uh, exactly. That is a fact. That is a fact. Okay? And if that heart ain't right, guess what? That body ain't going to be right either. And if that body ain't right, that heart ain't going to be right. Okay? Because the heart is connected to the physical. Okay? That's why it's the earth, the heart. All right? But, you know, when we restore all this love and all this, you know, reviving our heart and freeing from freeing the mind. All right, we generate in the spirit with wholeness and breath a new life into self by waking up from our own fucking nightmare. Okay, you wake up from your own nightmare and then you start to turn into all these dreams. Okay, you turn it into a dream. Okay, you going into the dream world. All right. So don't get that body done. And that heart still fuck. Okay, a lot of people out here with their body fucking done. Okay? Trying to do everything to alternate, replace shit physically. Doing all of that shit to try to replace the shit physically. Okay? Because they, they, they alternate energy. They don't want to get to the delete. Okay? They don't want to go through revelations. They don't want to go through the resurrection. They want to stay right there in the alternate energy where they can replace shit. Mm -mm. It ain't changing nothing. You just moving shit. You know how you you be in your 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 house, right? Perfect example. You be in your house <laughs> and you get to moving your furniture around, but it's still the same fucking space. That's what a lot of people do when they just replace them. You get to replacing shit in your house and shit like that, but you still got the same fucking space, the same energy. Alright? You want to look so good on the outside, but that fucking soul is ugly as hell. Heart is fucking horrible. Cold hearted as hell. Alright? Shit don't last forever. It don't last. It really do matter what's in, in the inside. That outside shit don't matter no more. But people will use the, you know, they, they get their bodies done. But that's because they trying to replace how they really feel inside. They might be a little uh subconsciously have low self-esteem. Okay? Something they don't like about they stuff they trying to change. When change starts within. Got to work on the inside and outside of the heart. If you don't use it for you, it gets weak. And that is so fucking true. It is so true. It's like, what is the purpose? Okay. We in the real, not the real. Okay? Not the reals. Okay? Not the motherfuckers we be creating. <laughs> okay? But yeah, if you don't, you ain't using the heart, it's just like, what's the, what's the purpose? You ain't making me stronger. You ain't cleaning the house. You ain't sweeping. You ain't dusting. You ain't washing not a goddamn thing, which is baptizing your heart. You ain't doing nothing. But just throwing all that junk on that motherfucker. Becoming a hoarder to your heart. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. I just can't. It's it's been really hard for, and that's it's 
just been hard. People just cannot move past a lot of stuff. And I understand the hell. There's a lot of things that I couldn't move past, you know. But eventually I did. You know, I, I gave myself patience and grace. You have to be patient with yourself and give yourself that grace and space. Just so you can actually move on and move forward. Alright? Definitely. Phys spiritually and physically. It's a balance. Alright? You just can't give up. You got to keep going. We all going to get hurt somewhere along the way. All right. Even if you ask for it or not. Okay. But in some way, I'm pretty sure you ask for it. Because them choices go real deep when it comes to the decisions. Okay. And even if some of them decisions were made for you, they became your choices in life. All right. So you still have to alternate and ship that shit away from you. We got to start wearing the, the alternate. You know, a lot of people wear the mask and the alternate energy too. Mm-hmm. Hell, I can't believe it's still motherfuckers out here wearing the mask today. I can't believe it. After what we done been through. <coughs> but yeah, a lot of people still wear the mask too, heavy. But they weaken in their immune system. See, that's what they don't understand. You weaken in your immune system, remember? Mm-hmm. When you become so closed in and you want to wear the mask, instead of being your real self, uh-huh, you just masking it out. Masking it through the journey. It weakens you. Yeah. It keeps you off balance. Your immune system becomes weak. You become more prone to sickness and illnesses. Which is these motherfucking people in this world too. The germs, okay? We, <laughs> some type of germ. They like to get muzzled. Okay, they just muzzle their motherfucking mouth. Release. Release. Breathe. Exhale. Exhale. Gotta exhale. Stop holding your breath and exhale. That's why I named, you know, I, I titled this live also when, you know, are you, are you still not exhaling? Like, what's going on? You're not breathing? Like, why are you still holding your breath? Come off, off and up under the water. And breathe life into yourself. Okay? Release. Release. But that's what I want to talk to y'all babies about. My peoples, my loves. I had got this, you know, heavy understanding with control, out delete. And I was like, hold up. Hold up. Because, you know, I know it's, it's the shit coming out left and right already. This year ain't even, you know... January ain't even got all the way fully in. It's been bullshit after bullshit. Even in December. But. You got to remain. Patient with yourself through this process. Remain in control. Okay. Remain in alternating your own energy. Okay. And also deleting. Delete them motherfuckers. If they ain't beneficial to you. It ain't beneficial to you. Delete it. If it ain't bringing you a sense of comfort of wholeness, okay, or evolving you, delete it. Ain't no need to keep holding it and replacing it with other people and other fucking material bullshit. Okay? If it's bullshit, it's time for some... Okay, you need to... Okay. Get all that old shit up out of there. That baby shit. Get all that baby shit out of there. Okay? We on, we on some grown shit now. <laughs> I mean, we on some grown shit now. Okay? We releasing some good shit now. So, yes. Release. 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 But I definitely just wanted to talk to y'all film about this heavy download, you know, this understanding that I had gained. And I was like, yeah, let's let's talk about it, you know. Let's talk about this mind. You know, it has the eye of deception like a motherfucker. 
and it definitely knows how to play, you know, the, it, it also, you know, will reflect the trick of the mind. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful with the deceptions dealing with the eye. Okay? Alright? Let the deceptions go and, and continue to control your own perception. But I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. I'll definitely be back here Friday. And I definitely got the, uh, the lecture this Saturday at 3 o'clock. It will be in the Self Journey 101 group on Facebook. I have to say that because, you know, I go I go back and forth, y'all. But on Facebook, so look me up, y'all, if y'all ain't already in the group. But I would definitely be doing um, the Eye of the Sparrow lecture this Sunday. And it's actually free. So all you got to do is be in the group. You know what I mean? Because that's what I'm going to be going live at. So make sure y'all get there. It's going to be 3 o'clock Eastern time. I'll be back, like I said, Friday. Because I got some other shit to talk about. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. I know y'all got to go to work. And I got to get my kid in the bed. I will talk to y'all on the next one. And as always, family came in late. I'll be rewatching that. Thanks. Yes, sis, catch the replay. I'm glad you came and tuned in, though. I just said that to someone that your mind will really play tricks on you. So know the difference between the real and the fake. Well, you definitely have to know the real between the real and the fake, okay? Especially when it comes to the mind. No way, no way, yeah. Peace, love, I mean, love, peace, and oneness, family. I'll talk to y'all on the next one.